Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Dino Times. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morton, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. And today we're going to be talking about a dinosaur who was a very agile, kind of small, but lengthy hunter, Deinonychus. Deinonychus entryhopus uh, means terrible claw in Greek. Of course, though, it belongs to the Dromaeosaurid theropod dinosaur family, like the Velociraptor, Utah Raptor, things along those lines. Wasn't that tall of a dinosaur, but it was around 11 feet long when fully grown, and stems from the early, cont- early Cretaceous, Montana, Utah, Wyoming, and Oklahoma. And for those who don't know where that is, that's in the United States. Now, Deinonychus actually spearheaded the revolutionary idea of whether or not dinosaurs were cold or warm-blooded animals, and this forever changed how we thought about the animals in the 1960s. Deinonychus, of course, had that iconic large sickle-shaped claw on the second toe of each foot. And we've theorized what this could be, most likely used for hunting patterns, such as, you know, latching on to an animal, like, uh, during a hunting, when they're hunting in a pack, you know, they jump, they latch on, they dig that claw into the animal, helps take it down, you got multiple of those going on, a large animal, then, like, prehistoric animal or a dinosaur, that animal's going down. And they can also use it to slash open the uh, animal as well, so they can eat. Now, the tail on the animal is because of the length. The tail is actually thought and theorized to actually counterbalance, so the animal can actually balance itself on there. So the length of the tail helps it balance and, you know, stand straight up. Now, the four limbs compared with Archaeopteryx further proved the connection between dinosaurs and birds. When you compare the Archae and the Deinonychus together they, and then compare it to modern-day birds, it pretty much proves with the four limbs there, dinosaurs are birds. Now tying into this, though, with the connection to birds, and also in the Dromaeosaur family, Deinonychus is theorized to have feathers. We haven't found any evidence of feathers yet on them, but it is theorized that they possibly did have feathers due to the connections to the other Dromaeosaurids that have had feather pigmentations found on their fossils. If you learned a little bit here, leave a like on the video, guys, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more paleo content, dinosaur stuff, and nerdy shit, too. I've been your host, Dakota Morgan, coming you from Phoenix, Arizona. Social media is down and below in the description box. And of course, remember, folks, science is real.